In this video, I'll be doing a review of Zubin 2 13.04. So this is another of the canonical releases and in the 13.04 range of distros. So with the XFCE desktop here, it's styled a bit more to look like GNOME Classic. They've been around a little while like this with the XFCE desktop. But now with, well, GNOME Classic pretty much well and truly gone, I think you can get it on Debian Stable still, but hey, that's about it, isn't it now? I can't think of many others. Yeah, this is uh, one of the alternatives if you do like to keep with the GNOME Classic desktop and you would like to stay on an Ubuntu-based distro. It's kind of a bit more of a mid-range of system requirements. Ubuntu is at the bottom with the LXD desktop and you've got the Ubuntu and Kubuntu releases at the top where they require more resources. So if you've got an older system old-ish, what, 500 meg RAM is your requirements for this one, I think. Yeah, 500 meg RAM and you can pretty much run Zubuntu. Now, there hasn't been a great deal of changes with this release, and in fact, I was looking back, so what did I think of Zubuntu before? Well, in 12.04, I gave it 88% and commented on the fast machine, I would say Zubuntu is slower than Ubuntu. Well, that still stands, it does feel slower than Ubuntu does. And don't worry about some of these. In fact, you can see how I've changed my scoring over time. So, my advice is, if you had Zubuntu 12.04, I would stay with that. If you had upgraded to Zubuntu 12.10, I would probably upgrade. In particular, there's a, there's a bug here that's actually been fixed now. The Funar slow start is actually now a lot better. Funar starts straight away now. Menu editor does work and, well some of those other comments there. All the notion of keeping Zubuntu under a CD-sized ISO seems to have gone in this release. It's now 830 meg to download, but at least in return we've now got GIMP on the ISO file, so it's now pre-installed, and you've got GNumeric back again. I'm not sure I consider that too much advantage or disadvantage, but hey, let's say it's something to state in this review that there's now more on the ISO. Now notice with Funar, it seems to have some of these annoying features like the newer version of Nautilus, like you can only switch between details and thumbnails as you're using the system. It, it doesn't keep the settings per folder. Now videos do play on here, however I had a bug with the Parole Media Player. All I did though was just Google what the error was and I found an answer in the Ubuntu forums and yeah, basically that worked straight away. It was just an input comment in Terminal and that was it. G Music Browser seems okay to play the songs there, however on this particular album it's actually messed up on the lyrics. <laughs> you know, it has the same lyrics for every song there. <laughs> That's probably just an error on one particular album. Anyway, there's not much more to say about the distro, so I'll just go ahead and uh, take a look at the pre-installed applications. So under accessories, seems a reasonable selection under there. Your file searcher is not a part of the file manager, and so we've got this catfish application to be able to find files. Under games, just got two games there, you've got Minds and Sudoku. Under graphics, well, you've, as you've already seen, you've got GIMP, GFUM Photo Viewer, Ristretto Image Viewer, and Simple Scan. Under Internet, we've got Firefox for the web browser, Pigeon Instant Messenger, Thunderbird for email, Transmission for your torrent client, and XChat for IRC. Under Multimedia, as we've already seen, we've got GMusic Browser and Prol Media Player. We've also got Pulse Audio Volume Control and XF Burn. Office, you've got the lightweight Office applications of Abbey Word and GNumeric, as well as a couple of other programs there. Under System, well, nothing notable there, other than we've got Task Manager. Memory usage, that's 7% of, I think it's 4 gig I've allocated this one, and we'll get an exact figure by using... It's used 295 meg of RAM, but actually used over 900 meg in cache, so it's taken advantage of the additional memory I've given it. Got the Ubuntu Software Center to install applications with, and under the Settings Manager, and we've got the new release of the software updater as well as a few other programs here under here to change various settings. But that's about all that's notable in uh, Zubuntu. Well, here's what I thought of Zubuntu 13.04. So easy to use, yeah, reasonably easy enough. 
ease of installation, yeah, with a graphical installer, you can easily dual boot it there with uh, Windows or another Linux distro, or even on its own. So Starling, and that's special, it just seems to be like the plain old uh, XFCE desktop. Boot up speed, yep, just got it at 4 stars here with uh, 10 seconds in VirtualBox. Responsiveness, just didn't feel that responsive really for a mid-weight system. I would reckon that Ubuntu is uh, quicker responsiveness than Zubuntu, and uh, Lubuntu is a damn sight quicker than that. The number of bugs. Just one there that I noticed, really, that the Pro Media Player had a GStreamer backend error. That was a bit of a mouthful. Yep, as I said there, I just googled what the error was and there was a quick and easy fix. So a selection of pre-installed applications. It's reasonable enough, but you don't get the codex pre-installed. And number of applications available, same old thing I've said before. So good points there that, uh, well, I've mentioned this before as well, the UEFI BIOS, that it will work a lot better with like a Windows 8 system, we've got a UEFI Secure Boot BIOS. And with a bug fix in Funar now, it uh, makes it a better release now than the Zubuntu 12.10. The bad points are the support time is now only 9 months, and just on a personal note here that with new Nautilus in Ubuntu, that seemed like pretty annoying, but I would reckon that the Funar file manager seemed just about as annoying as uh, like the new version of Nautilus. So, no real replacement there. It doesn't affect Zubuntu at all, that didn't really come into review, I was just mentioning it. Anyway, I've given Zubuntu 1304 a score of 75%. Thanks for watching, see you later.